operationally, the full focus is is really on the, the engineering effort here. So the engineering team is on the last mile push for beta, the complexity and the detail of what goes into beta. So we have four components and we have basically four sub teams that are working around the clock right now to, to bring this to or to bring this to market. So great news for the project in terms of, you know, we have a lot to look forward to in the very near future, but it's just a lot of work to get from here to there. And really everyone's just head down focused on that. So what I figured I would do is, is uh, talk a little bit about what we can expect as a project towards the end of May. Um, and this is when, you know, betas, we're looking to publish beta is end of May. So we sh- you should expect to see a fully functional beta with the accompanying libraries. And the libraries, uh, you know, already Gingerlib, the, the very big important one, was published a couple of weeks ago. And we have the other two accompanying libraries uh, scheduled for publication tomorrow. And uh, it, the, the important thing to note here is that beta should be uh, a mature product where we can really just kind of already start building out use cases on it. Or at least what we're going to do is we're going to also launch a community competition to see uh, what types of applications we can start uh, developing on our sidechain system. And we're going to be voting on them to see which are the coolest ones. And like I said, dogs and cats, front of the queue on that. But there are also a ton of potential commercial use cases. And you could be uh, betting on Horizon Labs uh, is already going to be working on commercial use cases as soon as we have the beta brought to market. So there's a lot to look forward to on that. We have um, a big accompanying project, Horizon Developer Environment, HDE, that we're looking to publish also with beta. And the main point here is that uh, HDE, this is for those that haven't been tracking so far, is our kind of uh, social environment where we want to curate development opportunities for the community so that we can uh, start not just encouraging, but uh, facilitating community development and really expand significantly the uh, you know, the amount of development that goes into the project. A key part of that was getting the beta to market. So we have uh, an SDK that's very useful and, and just straightforward for developers to start building on. Um, so HD is really going to be the focal point for our community sidechain competition. So more to come on that. And uh, Sphere by Horizon, expect another release of Sphere to be uh, sidechain supporting. Um, and along with Sphere, uh, Luca is starting to work with uh, work on a product strategy that, uh, you know, I'm looking at this as really thinking, what is our best path forward across the board with, with products? So we need to really think very, very clearly about what, what products are we maintaining? What products do we still need to develop or what products do we need to augment to reach what parts of our ecosystem? So what, which segments of our ecosystem are currently being serviced by which products and where do we have gaps and, you know, uh, adjust our strategy accordingly. Um, I see. So we do have some interesting things, uh, not, not uh, us, the foundation specifically, but we have, um, you know, some outside financial groups starting to do some market making operations for Zen, the in our currency markets. So that's, it's always nice to see our, our currency markets maturing We have uh, some outside analysts starting to look at the project. So in the near future, say about the four to six week mark, I would expect some uh, independent uh, reports coming out about Horizon. Um, So interesting, again, to see the maturity of our financial ecosystem. Uh, Something that I'm really excited about is our ecosystem governance continues to move forward. And what I wanted to highlight here was um, Peace Do has been working uh, with some some of our, our team community members to launch an independent community council, the Horizon Community Council, and expect this to be launched uh, imminently. I don't have a specific date for Peace Do on it, but the whole point of it is to empower our community. You can read read more about the community council in our white paper 2.0. Uh, but what what we want to do is we we, we want to give uh, more. Uh, more clear of a voice to our community, really to everyone here, everyone that cares about this project. Uh, It shouldn't just be a spectator sport where you look at the team and you see what the team is doing, whether it's technology deliveries or going out evangelizing the project or or building resources like uh, the faucet. We we need to get more community involvement and in particular on the governance side. So um, if you've been a spectator so far and you like what you're seeing on the project, consider uh, you know participating in the community council and i think this is a great opportunity to uh, continue the decentralization that we're doing 
on our governance. And quick thing to know on that, the Community Council is going to be a completely independent organization, so it's not run by the foundation. Um, it, you know, team members may participate as just you know, regular community members, but there's no, no kind of organizational relationship there between the foundation and the council. And you know, besides amplifying the voice of the community so that we can really aggregate and understand what the community wants to see or where it wants to see the project going, the council is going to play an important role in uh, the Zen IP or the Zen Improvement uh, Proposal Process because they're going to be one of three uh, editor organizations. Um, and that's another important point of our governance is uh, actually having a very clear, concise way to make proposals uh, for improvements to the ecosystem. Uh, and you know, this is on the technical side, but also on, on process improvements for how we should be governed, how we should be organized. So the Zen IP process is an important development for us. Again, you can read more about it in our white paper. Uh, and the last thing I'll say here is, guys, when, when things look like they're bleak and the markets have not been doing all that great for us, uh, like I keep telling the team, and I'll say this also to the community, is it's important to work hard and just focus, focus, focus. So do anything you can to just narrow down exactly what you're, you're supposed to work on, narrow down what's important, and focus on that. Uh, so this is how we're operating as a team, and you know it's important to stay optimistic despite you know lots of external current events maybe not being um, so optimistic. But uh, this will pass, and we have a lot to be excited about as a project. <laughs>